Hello and welcome to this short training video. I will talk you through how to correctly use the give additional slash immediate dose now field on all prescriptions. So as a starting point, we'll be in the manage end page um, on the doctor's view and you go to the new order entry component and search for the drug which you wish to prescribe and I'm going to use paracetamol as an example. So when you type paracetamol, you get a drop down of suggested orders with possible order sentences. Um, and please do try and choose one if appropriate. And remember, you can always modify if it doesn't match the required dose or prescription details you need. So I'm going to click on paracetamol one gram four times a day, which adds it to the orders for signature basket, um, which you click on the icon up here. And that fires another window. And at this point, rather than press sign, just modify the details so you can review the prescription details before signing off. And it will open up a window for what we call the scratch pad. And you can see a blue cross next to paracetamol, which means there's some mandatory fields that are yet to be satisfied before you can sign this off. So I'm going to click on that blue cross and it'll take me in to the prescription details. And you can see that there is a mandatory question called give additional slash immediate dose now. This question is mandatory for all prescribing in the CERNA EPR system. And what it is asking you is, do you want to create an additional stat dose on top of the normal scheduling? So I've got a four times a day frequency here, which is rigid and fixed at the drug round times. So all the frequencies in CERNA um, are fixed with their timings. And you can modify the timings if you need by clicking on these ellipses where you will see the current schedule on the left hand side. So 8, 12, 6 and 10. And you can modify on here to the appropriate scheduling if needed. So I'm just going to press cancel because I'm just going to leave the schedule as it is. And at this point, if you select yes to give additional dose now, so the times you might do this is if you if you're if you can't wait till the next scheduled frequency timing. So for example, I'm doing this at seven o'clock, the next dose is due at 10 o'clock, but my patient is in pain um, and I'm prescribing this for the first time, then I might use yes to give additional dose now, yes. Um, and upon pressing yes, what you need to do is click on review schedule. So you'll see this explanation mark with the review schedule button pop up. And when you do that, you can see that the system is telling you, you are creating an a stat dose at 7.06, which is the time of prescribing or creating the video. And the next scheduled dose on the, no on the four times a day frequency is at 10 p.m. So that is too close to, to the current timing. So that's, you know, normally you wait four to six hours before you can give paracetamol. So because that is too close to the stat dose I'm creating, what I should do is tick skip administration. That stops me from creating an additional dose um, and make sure that the patient doesn't receive too, many, too much paracetamol in a 24 hour period. So the aim and the purpose of this video is to make sure that anytime you say yes to give additional dose now, you are ticking uh, or you're reviewing the schedule and making sure that you are not creating an additional dose too close to the next dose that's scheduled on CERNA. And this is a key, key training point because if you don't do this, then the nurse gets two tasks very close to each other to administer paracetamol, for example, and then the nurse needs to make a clinical decision to omit one. And there's been a lot of instances across the trust where nurses are getting duplicate doses of drugs um, and it's causing a lot of confusion because they are having to make that clinical decision. They don't know whether the prescriber intended for that or whether it's a prescribing issue or error. Um, and you and all of you as Prescribers can really help that help that workflow by making sure you're compliant to any time you choose yes for give first additional slash immediate immediate dose now that you're reviewing the schedule before you sign it off. And once you've signed it off, you will go to the drug chart and give it a refresh, and you will see that for the paracetamol that I've just prescribed, it's got a stat dose now at 7.06, and now the next dose is for the following morning. So thank you very much for listening. Um...